First, let's create our wander module script. So go to your AI rig, click the plus icon and search for module. We're gonna insert a module script and we are gonna rename it to be wander script. So first let's rename it to be wander module. And let's add in that function to calculate random points for the AI to wander. Here we're defining a basic wander module in a function called get random point. This function takes the AI's current position and a radius and then calculates a random point for the AI to move toward. And Lord, I'm coming home to you. We randomize the X and Z coordinates while keeping the Y coordinate the same, so the AI moves on a flat plane. Next, we need to make the AI rotate in a smooth manner. <laughs> so if we don't do this, it's going to be snapping around and the, the turning and the movements is going to look really jagged and unnatural. See what I mean? So we're going to use a function to interpolate the AI's rotation, creating a more natural turn. I don't believe in anymore. This smooth rotate function ensures that the AI smoothly turns towards the target point. We calculate the target direction by subtracting the AI's current position from the target position and we set the Y to zero to keep the rotation on a horizontal plane. Then we use C-frame to interpolate between the current orientation and the new direction with 0.1 being the interpolation factor. You can adjust this value for slower or faster rotation. Now let's define the core wander function that will make the AI move toward a random point and handle the walking animation. He's off. So here is the wander function where all the magic happens. Let's break it down. We get a random point by calling get random point to find a new target within the AI's radius. We then calculate the direction from the AI's current position to the target point, normalizing it so that the AI moves in that direction. The humanoid move function moves the AI in the calculated direction and the smooth rotate function gradually turns the AI toward the point. If the walk animation isn't already playing, we start it here. And finally, we return true when the AI gets close to the point, so we can pick a new one. <laughs> so that is it for our wander module. Now we need to go into our controller script and we need to make a few modifications. So first, let's get a reference to the wander stopping distance. We'll just call it wander distance. And we're gonna set it to 30, but feel free to set this to whatever you want. I'm also gonna go ahead and create one for fleeing distance. This is from our previous video. I should have did it then, but I'm doing it now. Let's scroll down and for current behavior, let's change it to wander. And in our if else statement, take this weight, cut it, and do it after, paste it after the seek module.seek and paste it after the flea module.flea. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna say else if current behavior equals wander, then uh, we gotta get our wander module. We gotta load our wander module. So at the top, just say local wander module equals require 
script.parent wait for child wander script i called it script i want to call it module i don't want to call it script all right once you got that loaded come down and finish writing this so we'll say wander module dot wander and we pass in an ai a walk anim track and a wander distance and then we want to wait but not for a fixed set of time we want to wait for a random set of time oh my god so we're going to say math dot random one three but feel free to make this whatever you want one is the minimum amount of time it'll wait and three is the maximum so it's going to do a random value somewhere in between that and that should be all that we need hit play our AI should be wandering around the scene and that's it you now have a fully functional wander module for your AI you can easily expand on this by adjusting the radius or tweaking the rotation speed for a smoother movement if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more Roblox development content and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.